Good afternoon, everybody. Today I'm chatting with Cal Molly from Hertz Lithium. In this interview, we get into Hertz's new acquisition, the Patriota Lithium Project, which is nearby Sigma Lithium, Lithium Ionic, and Latin Resources. Also in this interview, we'll briefly touch on the lithium technology that Hertz has their hands on out of Penn State. And also, I'll sneak in a couple questions about Patriot battery metals, of which Cal was a big part of putting that deal together. All right, everybody, enjoy the interview. Cal, thanks so much for joining us today. No, oh, thanks for having me, Steve. So uh, let's start off with the the big news, the new acquisition in Brazil, the Patriota Lithium Project. So it's got very close proximity to some other big uh, hot lithium names like Sigma Lithium, Lithium Ionic, and Latin Resources. How does the geology line up and what makes the project interesting? Uh, Steve, what's happening in Brazil is similar to what's, uh, what started happening in James Bay two years ago. Uh, there's been pegmatite districts um, that have been discovered or that are now being highlighted with the search for lithium, similar to the pegmatite district in James Bay. And there are some companies that are active in Brazil, but very few early uh, microcap uh, juniors are out there. Uh, there's Latin resources, uh, there's lithium ionic, there's sigma lithium also, and they're all well-established players. And we're one of the first uh, micro caps to enter into that region. In the news release where you guys announced this acquisition, you guys mentioned plans to commence rapid exploration in the coming weeks and months. So what's the exploration strategy and, and what are the timelines looking like? So Steve, the exploration model for lithium is one, you've got to find a pegmatite field for hard rock, which we've determined from historical databases. And the second phase of uh, lithium exploration is to get on the ground and determine if those pegmatites have what's a mineral called spudgamine. So, you know, in our generation, pegmatite and spudgamine, they're probably going to be new words. And our next focus is to hit those, hit the ground and determine that the pegmatites have spudgamine in them. And we uh, we put together a team in Brazil and we want to get on the ground as soon as we can. So what can you tell us in terms of nearby infrastructure? I'm, I'm not too familiar with the Brazilian projects. Um, is 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 there everything you guys need if if you guys were to hit some interesting drill holes, how how close are roads, uh, water, electricity, all that sort of stuff? Yeah, I'm, uh, we're in an area of Brazil called Minas Gerais. I mean, not to pronounce it, but um, I think it almost means uh, mineral province or mineral district. And it's known for mining activity. There's lots of mining. It's the biggest supplier of iron ore to the world. Our projects are located on our highway. I almost say a highway runs through it almost. And we've got power, we've got towns nearby for service, and water is readily available. So we're in infrastructure, and we're in an area where there have been lithium, large tonnage lithium discoveries near our projects. So you guys also have the Lucky Mika Lithium Project in Arizona. Um, is is this sort of what Hertz is shaping into as a company? And I, I understand you guys also have some uh, some, some, some technology as well, which we'll get into in a minute, but in terms of projects, uh, is, is the plan to focus on these two projects or, uh, will Hertz be looking for more offer opportunities in other places? Steve, we believe uh, lithium uh, exploration and lithium mining is a generational opportunity. Lithium is a fairly new commodity that's come on. The flow of capital is very high in, compared to other commodities. And we want to offer investors a complete package of a lithium exploration company. So with that, we've got our Lucky Mica project in Arizona, which we're getting good results on. We also have a technology that addresses extraction of lithium from hard rock. And that's a partnership with Penn State University, who have a patent pending on an ex uh, extraction technology that makes it more economic and environmentally friendly to extract lithium from hard rock. And now we've added a third phase with Brazil, our Patriota project, and we're not going to stop there. Um, you know, regulators require me to caution this. We don't have any agreements in place, but we are looking for additional projects so that Hertz will not be a one shot wonder. We'll be a full fledged lithium company with mineral projects as well as the Penn State extraction technology to offer. Have you guys announced uh, the, the 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 terms of the deal with Penn State in in terms of uh, how how the actual economics of the partnership work? 
We have an option agreement to an, uh, we have an option to license the patent and development of the patent for worldwide rights for lithium extraction. We have now ironed out our term sheet as to what that license will look like. And within the next uh, week to two weeks, we will execute that license and um, go public with all the details of what that encompasses. A question I got to ask you is that my understanding is that you were one of the early investors in Patriot Battery Metals, which um, for anybody who's watching this that doesn't follow the Canadian junior markets, I, it's, it's often said that you can count the number of success stories that the Canadian junior markets have seen the last couple of years on one hand. And Patriot Battery Metals is clearly one of those, some huge drill holes out of that project. So um, in, 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 in terms of the lithium projects you're looking at and what you learned from being early in Patriot Battery Metals, what are the sorts of things that you learned from that experience that you can bring to Hertz or future lithium projects you're looking at that you think that you sort of got right with Patriot Battery Metals? I think what happened with Patriot is I know Jody DeRouge, who, uh, whose property is in uh, Patriot Battery, so I was fortunate he got me involved when they first started hitting lithium. With that involvement, I got to understand the amount of capital that was flowing into lithium. Also, the geology that's tied to the lithium discoveries that Patriot had. On that basis, I started acquiring ground in um, in Arizona. We also have a large package of ground in James Bay. Now we understand geology in Brazil as well. So we, we've been early movers in lithium with that understanding that comes largely from the Patriot battery discovery and our early involvement with Patriot. So, you know, as um as an older gentleman, I have to say I'm very grateful to be involved in Patriot Battery, and that's opened up a lot of doors, and we've actually capitalized on those doors that they've come open for us. I've got to bring it up. Uh, a recent strategic investment from Albemarle, $109 million. What does this announcement mean for the Canadian lithium industry? I think lithium industry in general has been validated that there is real capital and there is real due diligence that's come into these projects that have been discovered. So the Albemarle $100 million investment confirms the geology is there, the deposit size is there. Uh, the other aspect in James Bay is Rio Tinto has come into the area and uh, they've come, come into a big way. They've committed up to $60 million for grassroots exploration. And in addition to that, Rio Tinto is also coming to Brazil where we are. So the whole uh, lithium space has been validated that majors have, you know, put their scientific teams and they're willing to put their dollars into grassroots projects, which many lithium projects are at this stage. Okay, so last question, getting back to Hertz for investors watching, potential investors who like the story, uh, are there any timelines or milestones they should be watching over the remainder of the year? Uh, again, we're not a one um, one project company. We have several projects, Arizona, Penn State, Brazil, and hopefully we'll be able to announce another one. So we'll have a season, all season work programs with Arizona being, you know, all all year, Brazil being an all year work program with uh, Quebec. You know, we're limited to groundwork in the summer, but we can drill in the winter. And then the Arizona or the Penn State technology, we're not limited as to what we can do. And we're also eager to come up with uh, partners who will help us develop that technology, industry partners, big entities. So we're hoping to work on that basis as well. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for hopping on here, Cal, and hopefully you'll come on in the future as uh, the story continues to develop. Okay. Thanks for your time, Steve. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you could do me a big favor, please smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Also, let us know what you think in the comment section. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.